the nature of the threat to defence is changing. We are operating in an ever-increasing congested and contested electromagnetic environment. Our adversary's technology is advancing and they are adopting stealth hiding tactics. This requires counter-stealth sensing solutions and agility to keep up with the intense competition between hiding and finding. It is important to develop new and disruptive defence technology. Radar is a remote sensing system that transmits radio signals and receives the reflected waves from distant objects. Radar can be used to produce images that look similar to optical images, but it has the advantage of day and night and all weather capability. With radar, we can see through cloud and rain, beneath tree canopies and in the dark. This is due to the longer wavelength of the radio waves compared to that of the short wavelength light waves. The radio waves are emitted through an antenna or an aperture. The angular resolution of a radar image is determined by the wavelength to the size of the aperture. This means for the longer wavelength radio waves, you need a much larger aperture to form the same resolution in the image. This is a problem if you want to mount your radar system onto an aircraft or a satellite. This challenge is overcome using synthetic aperture radar or SAR imaging. High resolution images can be achieved by moving a small antenna over long distances. And combining multiple viewpoints into a single radar image, creating a large synthetic aperture. By moving a SAR system over terrain and synthesizing radar responses, it is possible to achieve highly detailed images that can resolve half the distance of the real aperture independent of the range. Forming SAR images requires sophisticated mathematics, powerful computers and accurate sensors. With a huge wealth of data collected, the question is how to make sense of it. It is very difficult for a human to interpret SAR images and to find small and agile adversaries hiding in clutter. Automatic target recognition is now being implemented and can detect and classify objects in SAR images. This is one example of how advanced signal processing and artificial intelligence can be used to filter through vast amounts of information. Extract what is useful and send it to the right platforms. The result is a fast and robust end-to-end -end system that saves both time and manpower. Through collaboration, we can drive through emerging technologies with a mission-led innovation approach and retain the strategic edge 
in the future. If you would like to find out more, come and speak with us today.